Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to use AI agents to automate a recruitment screening with Pabli. So here, I'm an HR professional. I'm receiving multiple resumes on regular basis that are uploaded in PDF format in my Google Drive. I want to extract out the details from the resume and on the basis of the criteria of our company policies, I need to select the resume or reject it. But doing it manually is a time consuming process. So I have decided to automate it with the help of my AI agent that is OpenAI and Pabli. Connect. Every time now a new resume is going to be uploaded in the folder of my Google Drive. The details will be extracted out and the decision will be made with the help of AI agent and the details then finally will be added in my Google Sheets for final review. To automate this entire process, I am not going to use any coding and programming skills. I will be simply connecting all these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So for your business, if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video, we are going to learn step by step how to automate resume screening with the help of AI agent. So here I am working as an HR professional at an IT company. I want that every time I am going to receive a new resume from the candidate, whether it is in an image format or PDF format, it is going to be uploaded in my Google Drive folder. As soon as the resume is uploaded, I want to extract out the necessary details from that resume, such as the name, email, experience, skill level and education qualifications of the candidate and on the basis of these details as well as my company's criteria I want to screen this resume and add the decision in my Google Sheets for further final review. For that I'm going to use my AI agent that is open AI. So every time the resume is going to be uploaded automatically with the help of AI agent it is going to be screened and the details will be added along with the decision and the reason in my Google Sheets. To automate this entire process I'm not going to use any coding and programming skills. I will be simply connecting all the applications which I'm using such as Google Drive, my AI agent that is open AI and Google Sheets and my work is done. To build the connection between these applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So now without any further wait, let's start learning this amazing automation step by step. To start with the process, first of all in a new tab, we need to type pabli.com slash connect in our browser, which is going to take us towards the landing page of Pabli Connect. Over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account directly. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button. It will help you to create a free new account just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you're going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, currently I'm going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products that are offered by Pabli. To create our automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. It has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On the dashboard, we can find all the workflows that we have created. And also we can create separate folders over here on the same dashboard to save the workflow separately and accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, let's click on this create workflow option. Here a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let me provide a name over here. Use AI agents for automated recruitment screening with Pabli. After giving the name to my workflow, now I'm going to select the folder. So you can see I have a list of folders over here. Among these folders, the automation which I'm going to create is related to AI, which includes AI. So I'm going to select AI automations as my folder and now I'm going to click on create. A workflow is created as you can see successfully and we are going to go towards the new screen now. The new screen contains a blank workflow which we have to fill up in order to completely set up our automation. Here we have trigger and action. So trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or we can say these are the building blocks on which entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now, let's suppose here I want that every time I'm going to receive a new resume that is uploaded in the folder of my Google Drive, then automatically the details should be extracted out from that resume and also a decision should be received that whether the person, the candidate is selected or rejected according to their skills and the job criteria. So for that here, I'm going to take Google Drive and Trigger and I'm going to take OpenAI, that is my AI agent in my action step. When we are going to 
build the connection between these applications. So you'll see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means whenever a new file, that is a new resume is uploaded in Google Drive folder, then only the decision will be received through AI agent and the details will be extracted out from that resume to be recorded in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us start creating this automation step by step. To start with the process, first of all, let's go towards our trigger step. And now we are going to select our trigger application. So here, my trigger application, as I told you, is going to be Google Drive because currently I'm maintaining the record of all the resumes in my Google Drive folder. If you're using any other application for maintaining the records, you can also select that over here, okay? Then we have to select the trigger event. So on the happening of which event, you want that your automation should start. I want that when a file is going to be uploaded in specific folder of Google Drive, then my automation should start. Okay, so I've selected that. Now let's click on connect to build the connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect. Keep logging to your Google Drive account. I am already logged in over here. So you can see that we have two options, add new connection and select existing one. In case if you already have an existing connection, just go with that. To create a new connection, you can simply Go towards add new connection. You will click on sign in with Google. As you're already logged in, your account will be detected. Just select that account and then you have to provide the permission to Pabli Connect to access your Google account. Do not worry, our data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. So fearlessly, you can click on allow. As you will do that, your connection will become successful. Currently, I already have an existing connection. So I'm going to go with that. And now here you need to select the folder or the subfolder in which when the file will be uploaded, you want to capture the response. So you can see the name of my folder is new resume. I want that whenever in this folder, the resumes are going to be uploaded, then my workflow should start. So I'm going to select new resume over here as the folder name. And now we are supposed to click on save and send test request button. But before that, you can see that 10 minutes is given in front of Google Drive. So Google Drive is based on 10 minutes of polling time. So polling time is actually the time which Pabli Connect is going to take to capture new response every time because we have 10 minutes of polling time so every time a new file is going to be uploaded in the folder of google drive after 10 minutes the response of that file is going to be captured inside Pabli connect and not instantly so what you're supposed to do here when we are going to click on save and send test request button currently we are going to receive the last or the latest file that was uploaded in our google drive folder so this is the latest file which was uploaded i'm going to click on save and send test request button and we are going to receive the response of that file only okay we got the response and now we are going to move forward as we have received the response and in the response we have also received the link of the file we are going to use this link in order to screen the resume and also to extract out the details first of all i'm going to extract out the details to extract the details from the resume that is uploaded in the image format or in the pdf format in my google drive folder i am going to go back towards public connect and here i'm going to go towards action step i'm using open ai as my ai agent so i'm going to select open ai as my action application let's select that then we have to select the action event so our action event is going to be extract content from pdf or image let's click on connect i will go with an existing connection only but if you want to create a new connection just keep logging to your open ai platform as i am already logged in and now you have to provide the token if you are already logged in you can simply click on this hyperlink it is going to take you towards open ai platform where you will find api keys you can click on this create new secret key button you can provide the name to your key let's say new test a random name and here you can select the project when you will click on create new secret key button the key is generated in front of us as we can see let's copy it we'll click on done and you just have to paste the key over here okay when you will click on save the connection between openai and public connect will become successful i already have an existing connection so i'm going to go with that as the connection is built now we have to move forward first of all we need to select the model by using which we want to extract the details from the pdf you can see we have multiple models i'm going to select gpt 40 mini model over here then you have to provide the image or the pdf url that you have received from earlier response and from that you want to extract the details so this is the image of the resume from which i want to extract out the details what I will do, I will go towards the response that I have received and over here you can see that we have web content link. This is the link of that image that we have uploaded on Google Drive folder. So we are going to simply map it like this. As we have mapped this link from the previous step, it has become dynamic and automatically with every new response, it is going to replace. So every time a new file is going to be uploaded in Google Drive folder, this URL will get replaced automatically with the new one. And in this way, we will be automating the entire process of extracting out the details and screening each and every resume that is uploaded in Google Drive folder. 
because if we will enter the data manually over here for example if by copy and pasting it will become static and then it is not going to replace therefore mapping is very important now let's move forward it is asking us to provide the prompt what you want to do you have to provide the command to your ai agent that what you want it to do for you i want to extract out the necessary details from the resume first of all so therefore i'm going to give the prompt as i want to extract out the details from the given pdf document Okay, what all details I want to extract out such as the name, the years of experience, skills, education and much more. Okay, if I'm going to enter all these details over here and when I'm going to click on save and send test request button, I will be receiving the response in a paragraph. That I do not want because currently I want to create a record in my Google Sheets for my team to review further. Therefore, I want the details in systematic JSON format in separate fields so that directly I can map that in my Google Sheets. If I'll get the response in paragraph, I will have to extract out the details manually and then I will have to enter. And because we are setting up the automation, so we want the proper format. What we will do for that, we are going to use a structured output when we are going to use the structured output, we will receive the details which we want in proper JSON format in separate fields that we can directly map. To get the structured output, we have to enter a JSON schema over here in proper format. And to do that, I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do. We have to follow this format given over here. So just open your notepad and decide what all details you want to extract out from your resume. So I've opened the notepad and now one by one I'm going to note down over here in the notepad what all details I want to extract out from this resume. First of all, I want the name of the candidate. So I'm going to enter name over here and the type of this detail which I want is going to be text. So I'm going to enter type of text. Then the description we have to provide what kind of detail you want. So I'm going to enter give me the full name of the candidate. Okay. Then in the similar manner, I'm going to extract out all other details, such as the experience level of the candidate, their skills, their education, and other details. Okay, so quickly, I'm going to note down. So here I have entered all the details. I want the name, the experience, experience in the summarized form, the skills of the candidate with comma separated values, the education level, and the certifications, if any. Now, after entering all the details which you want to extract out, simply copy the exact data. Close the notepad and go back towards Babli Connect. Over here, we have to go towards the important note. It is saying to generate the structured output JSON navigate to this hyperlink. It is going to take you towards structured output page of OpenAI platform. And we are going to generate the JSON schema in correct format from here. So let's click on this generate button. Paste the as it is details which you have copied from notepad and let's click on create. Let's wait for a moment. Here we got the schema. Let's copy it. It is ready. Let's go back towards Pabli Connect and we have to paste the entire data like this. Now let's simply click on save and send test request button. And here you can see we got the response. Here we have the name of the candidate, their title. Then we have their email address, their location, their contact LinkedIn. Then we have the summary of their profile, their experience, the company. Okay. Then over here, you can see we have responsibilities that they have. Here we have their skills, their education level, and all the details are received. So now we are going to screen this resume after receiving all the details. To screen the resume, I'm going to again use my AI agent, that is OpenAI. And we are going to quickly select OpenAI as our action application. We will select the action event. And this time, I'm going to again use extract content from PDF or image. Let's click on connect. We will go with an existing connection. Again, I'm going to select the same model over here. We will simply map the image link and now in the prompt i'm going to provide the detailed instruction that on the basis of the company policies and the details that we have received in the resume i want to screen this resume and then i want to get a decision that whether the candidate should be selected or rejected along with a reason so the prompt over here is going to contain all the necessary detail it will be a detailed and well instructed prompt so here is my prompt. You are an expert recruitment assistant helping us screen candidates for a software development position. Please analyze the candidate's resume provided below and compare it against the job description. The ideal candidate must have at least two years of hands-on experience with JavaScript, React.js, Node.js, and REST APIs. These are the criteria on which we want to select the candidate. They should also be familiar with the Git and Agile development methodology. Preference is given to candidates who have experiences with TypeScript, CI, CD pipelines, or test-driven development, although these are not mandatory. The resume should also clearly explain the candidate's role, responsibilities, and relevant project work. Good structured clarity and professionalism in the resume are important. Based on this evaluation, respond in the following 
format. I want the decision whether it is shortlisted or rejected and also the reason with a brief evidence-based explanation. Okay, I've already provided the image link from which we need to extract out the details and screen the resume. And now directly I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we got the content. We have the decision over here as shortlisted and also the reason. The candidate has covered seven years of experience as a full stack developer, including hands-on experience with JavaScript, React, JS, and all the details. Okay. So now I'm going to quickly insert the details in my Google Sheets. And here I'm going to build the connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect. For that, I have selected Google Sheets as my action application. I want to I want to add a new row in my Google Sheets every time the file is uploaded in my Google Drive folder. Let's click on connect. I will go with an existing connection only. Now we have to select the spreadsheet name which is already selected as candidate details. Then we have the details. Then we have the fields over here which we have to cover. We have the name, email, certificate, years of experience, skills, education and the final decision. These are all the same fields that we have the columns in our Google Sheets. One by one let's start entering the details. Always with the help of mapping we will be able to automate the process. So here first of all we have received the name. Then I want the email. So here, so here we have received the email as well. Let's check for the certificates. So here we have the certificates. Then we have the years of experience, 2018 to 2021. Then we have the skills. So let's map the skills. We have multiple skills over here. So I'm going to map all of them. All right. Now we have the education. So let's search for education. I'm going to map it like this. First of all, the years and then the education institution. With a comma, I'm going to map the location. Okay. Then here we have the decision finally that we have received. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request button. We have got the response over here. I will take you towards my Google Sheets. Here we have the details added. And here in this way, we can create a systematic record of all the candidates along with the decision. And here we have the reason as well. So the further team members could finally review the application, could finally decide whether the person should be hired or no. So I hope this automation is clear to you. Also, it is helpful for your business in a similar manner. You can also extract the necessary details from the resume that are uploaded in PDF or image format in your Google Drive folder and also screen the resume automatically with the help of AI. So I hope this automation is clear to you. Also, it is helpful for your business. Thank you for watching. Not only this automation, but you can create multiple such amazing automations for your business with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you want to connect us, you can mail us at support at the rate pabli.com. For any of your queries, you can ask at forum.pabli.com. And for any of your pricing related issue, you can visit the website given over here. If the video was helpful for you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank Thank you for watching.